going on, y'all? So today I want to go over some body weight exercises that you can do at home to increase your body fat burning potential. Now, why we're going to be doing this is because we want to make sure that we have the optimal body composition. We also want to make sure that we're doing things from an athletic standpoint to get the body ready to move efficiently. So I'm going to go ahead and go over my basic dynamic warm up. We're going to do some soft tissue release. Then we're going to go into some more mobility type training and then finish off with some stability and then firing up the nervous system for the work ahead. Once we go ahead, I'm gonna show you the three exercises that you can do that is going to enhance your ability to burn fat. So first one is gonna be a dive bomb push up to a squat. The second one is gonna be a three position lunge. And then the last one is gonna be a side plank bird dog. Again, we're doing things from an athletic standpoint to get the body ready to move efficiently, but we're also gonna throw in a little bit of high intensity work so that we can burn as much body fat as possible. Remember, the goal here is intent. So we wanna make sure we're putting maximum intent into each exercise. Let's do this. All right guys, so first one we're gonna do is a foam rolling technique. We wanna make sure that we're able to hit all sides of the body. So we're gonna start with the glutes, go to the hamstrings, quads, hip flexors, and work our way up the back, uh, work the low back, erector spinal muscles, and then also we're gonna go up to the upper back too as well. So first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, cross my leg, sit the hip down on the roller here, and I'm just gonna roll back and forth for about 10 repetitions right around that glute med area. So you'll find that upper quadrant of the glute. We're just gonna go ahead, roll on that nice and slow and controlled. We'll do about 10 repetitions up and down. Can you find any sticking points or any points of where it feels real tender. You can stay on that for a little bit and just small oscillations to help down regulate those, uh, those basically nociceptors, which is your pain receptors. Uh, when you down regulate that, that'll help with increasing the movement capacity of the hip capsule and also just basically be able to fire out the glutes more efficiently. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the hamstrings. Place the roller right behind the knee first. And then you're gonna place your leg on top of the knee. From there, I'm just gonna roll all the way up into the bottom of my glute and then back down right behind my knee and then back up. Again, we're not just trying to stay on the roller for you know 10 minutes or anything like that. Real quick, we just wanna get maybe two to five minutes for the entire body up the kinetic chain. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the quadricep muscles. So again, we wanna make sure that we place the roller up on the hip crease and then we're gonna roll back down all the way until the top part of the knee. So I'll go one leg first, I'm just gonna roll all the way up to my knee, then back down to my hip. And you can hit all sides of the quads. Again, if you wanna go ahead and hit the VMO, you just turn the leg out. Both sides, both legs. All right, so now we're gonna go into the adductor muscles. Again, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the roller in a 45, start with it on the knee and then slide it down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the spinal erectors and then all the way up throughout the back, up into the upper back and into the T-spine. Cross your arms. Just gonna go ahead, roll. Nice, small oscillations. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our dynamic stretches. So with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and get on one knee. We're gonna work on stretching out the hip flexors and then work through rotation in the upper, upper thoracic to work on T-spine mobility. So I'm gonna come down with the knee off the floor. Big stretch here, I'm gonna reach my elbow down to my heel. Then I'll rotate, look up to the ceiling and then back down. Now on the backside leg, I'm squeezing my glute so that I can get that stretch on the hip flexor on the backside leg. So now we're gonna do a roll back V sit through. This one is gonna be working the lower back. So we're actively stretching out the lower back and then rolling through into a hamstring stretch, sitting through our legs here. So I'm gonna roll back with our feet touching, come back up, spread and then come back through. All right, so now we're transitioning from that mobility side into the central nervous system activation side. So what I'm gonna do first 
is mountain climber. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my hands, get in a push-up position with my hands right underneath my shoulder blades here. And then I'm gonna drive my uh, leg up to where my foot is meeting my hand. And then I'm gonna switch quick to the other side. Switch. Five repetitions each side. Then from there, we're gonna do what's called groiners. Now, instead of doing one leg at a time, I'm doing both legs. So I'm getting that push-up position, jump through, and then sit back, sit back. Then again, we wanna do five repetitions on that. The last one I wanna do is work on that transverse abdominal or transverse plane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that controlled sit out, working on activating the nervous system, but also working on core stability and overall range of motion in the shoulder girdle. So I'm gonna go ahead, get in the push-up position again. From there, I'm gonna go ahead, hit the sit out, control, touch the toe, bring it back. Other side. And again, we wanna do five repetitions each side through. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the three exercises to increase the ability to burn body fat with more of that athletic, more functional movement for athletes, okay, or combat sport athletes in general. Now, what we're gonna do first is gonna be a dive bomber push up to a squat. So, we're gonna go ahead and do more of a hit style. So, we're gonna go 30 seconds on, then we'll do 30 seconds off. We'll do that for five rounds. You'll take a one to two minute break, and then we'll go into the next exercise. So, all these can be done simultaneously. You can do this all in one day of training or you could split it up into each day, whatever you want, okay? But first one we're gonna do, again, dive bomber squat. So it looks like this. We start off in a push-up position, feet out about 24 inches. Then we're gonna go ahead, butt comes up, elbows go down, go underneath, head up. From this position, we're gonna go ahead and hit that groiner like we did in the warm-up, get to the squat, and then stand up. From there, I go back down, boom, underneath, drive up, squat. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into more of a lunge pattern. And then again, we're gonna be doing it in all different ranges. So we're gonna go forward, right? We're gonna go backwards and then we're also gonna move lateral. What we're gonna do, same concept, 30 on, 30 off. We'll do 30 on with one side, then we'll rest for 30 seconds, then do the other side for 30 seconds, then rest for 30 seconds. Again, a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio on both sides of the body. We're gonna start off, we're gonna front lunge, we're gonna back lunge, we're gonna step, push back up. Front lunge, back lunge, step, push back up. Again, 30 on, 30 off, both sides of the body, five rounds through. Okay, so you did your hit, so you went 30 on, 30 off for about 10 rounds because you did both exercises. Now we're gonna finish off with some core and trunk stabilization work. Again, because we wanna make sure that we have a strong, stable core for one. Then also, again, if you're looking to improve your body composition, you wanna make sure that your midsection looks good too as well. So if you're looking at it from an aesthetic standpoint, this is also good to do. We're gonna get in a side plank, right? Arm at 90 degrees, elbow is stacked on the shoulder. When you do the side plank, you wanna actively push your heel, the bottom heel into the ground and drive your rib cage up and your hip up into the ceiling. From here, you wanna keep everything neutral. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a bird dog component. So my arm is gonna be out, get a full stretch on the lat. From there, leg comes up, elbow touches the knee, we bring it back. Boom, so now you're getting the entire lateral chain. All right guys, so there you have it. Three body weight at home exercises that you can utilize to help burn some body fat and also increase your athleticism, whether you're a sport athlete, combat sport athlete, or whether you're just trying to get in shape, right? I know some of you are stuck at home, so this is something that you could take with you. Challenge your friends, see if they can do it. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you share it if you like this video. If you wanna see me do more like this, let me know, hit the comments down below. If you have any questions, you know what to do there too as well. I'll see you again next time, peace.